how to make image files from PowerPoint slides. The reason you'd like to do this, especially if you're using something like Movie Maker or anytime else you want to make an image yourself, PowerPoint really is a pretty good image editor. You can add different images together with text on top of it and different shapes and whatnot and then save the entire slide as its own image so it allows you to do some things pretty easily um, without a lot of effort all right so first thing um, you know put on your slide what you want to what you want the image to look like so I'm gonna take um, an image of an astronaut I have here let me pull that up so here's this image of the astronaut and I want to add that to the slide. I'm going to add some things to it. If you're just putting an image in and you don't need to make any edits, um, like into Movie Maker, you probably can just, you know, save the image and import it into Movie Maker and you'll be fine. But if I want to add some things to it, you know, like citations or other text, um, then I recommend using PowerPoint. So I'm going to copy this image, go back to PowerPoint really quick and paste the image in and there we go and I'll just move it around a little bit all right and so I'm gonna add some some text I'll add a little bubble here make the astronaut say something and then you can just type in here welcome to planet earth Make sure you spell check. Oops, see? Make sure you spell check as you do this so you don't add something that's spelled wrong. Make sure you double check it. Alright, so you can add that, and obviously you can change things around and make it a little nicer. I'm doing this just pretty quick as an example. Um, don't forget your citations for images, please. So I'm going to take the URL here, copy it, go back to slideshow here, paste it, comes as a little small here, I'm going to make it smaller, remember it doesn't have to be huge, it just has to be visible and on your slide, okay, so here I have the slide I want, the image I want, now I want to save it as an image, okay, um, so all you can do is go up to the top left, click on the office button, go down to save as. Now don't click save as, just hover over it and you'll see these options come up and you want to select the one that says other formats. So click other formats and it'll look like the regular save as window that opens up. You know, you'll go through, select where you want to save it, give it the name you want it to have. I'll give it astronaut. And then what you want to change is where it says save as type. If you click that, all these different options come up in the first couple, you know, just PowerPoint presentation, PDF, XP, whatever, all these different things. Um, you want to scroll way down until you get to the one that says JPEG file interchange format. That's the format I would recommend. Uh, GIF and PNG, the PNG at least, those two will work as well, but JPG, the JPEG format, works well. And so you're selected to save it as an image file, basically. So when you save it, it'll ask, do you want to export every slide or just the current slide? If you click every slide, and that would be like if I had multiple slides that I wanted to export all as images. Um, when you click that, it'll save all of your images into a folder that it'll create. If you do current slide, obviously it's just going to save the slide you have on the big screen. I'm just going to do current slide only because I only have one slide. So if you click that, it saves. Um, and then if you go to your window, your files, um, so here's my documents where I saved it and you see the astronaut file here. If I double click that, it'll open up as an image, you can see what it looks like and then uh, when you use Movie Maker or whatever else you're using, you can just upload this image or insert this image into Movie Maker and use it um, as a part of your presentation that you're making. And that's about it.